Hello and welcome to round 7 of the RSS Formula Supreme series. Today we are at lovely Road Atlanta. Uh, probably one of the most popular tracks, tracks in America and certainly the one I find to be uh, most exciting. Um, lovely uh, 4.1 kilometer long track with 12 American turns as I wrote it down and we'll get into that a bit later. But uh, here was qualifying hole halfway into that one. Uh, just about eight minutes left as we have Jensen Bintz on provisional pole almost as expected um, with Hutchinson being P2 just behind uh, Jensen. Lovely uh, drive from Hutchinson last week. Yeah, I'm uh, joined today by uh, Wes. Oh yeah, so I'm just learning things with this. This is a a new yeah, we, system today. We're Great. trying some new stuff out. Absolutely. Right today, oh, looks that's... better. Oh, going a bit too high there for Phoenix. Another another driver that did very well last week at Bahrain, uh, which was a bit of an upset with uh, Jansen not winning the first. For the first race that he has participated in, so he's only five for five, uh, five for six right now, rather than six for six or five for five as he was going into Bahrain. But uh, Bins on top again. Uh, I've heard heard some of the guys talk about lap times. Um, Dance and Bins saying that he managed to do a sub one minute two second. Uh, not sure on that pace just yet, but uh, he's getting there. Uh, a lot of people. Um, really <laughs> wondering how he managed to do that one, but it doesn't look like it is that difficult. A lot of people getting very close to the one minute two mark at least, and it's just a question about whether or not they have the things uh, to get that last second out of the car. Yeah, he's got a three tenth gap at the moment, which to his standard isn't too much, but as we but yeah, we said last time he didn't he took, didn't take the win. He had a spin in the first couple of laps of the race, causing him to be down the order. Meaning that uh, what we're looking at now, I believe, finally took a win. If I'm not wrong, it was Hutchinson, wasn't it, that took the... It sure was Hutchinson uh, getting his first win, followed by Tristan Koning in P2, uh, finishing just about two tenths in front of Sebastian von der Heuvels, which means that... Those two drivers are now only separated by two points in the championship, so it's going to be very exciting to see who gets up, gets out on top today. We have uh, in the chat someone rooting for Kristen that we're looking at now as he's backing off and getting out of the way, he's deciding that he's done with his laps for now. Uh, Hutchinson's apparently a tenth up in the first sector. I honestly haven't done it. It's obviously an American track. I haven't uh, raced at this track many uh, times or even commentated at it. So the actual layout to me, um, not don't know it too well. If I'm, mis it's not the one with the big tree they have to go around until, is it? It's not that one. Uh, no, that is uh, Virginia Raceway, ah. International Race Circuit, I, I believe it's called V I A R. Uh, this is what Atlanta. It's mostly known for the S's. Uh, just after turn three, that is uh, actually starts after turn four if you look at the track map. But uh, let's just uh, see if we can get a lap here with Hutchinson going into turn one. A uh, very interesting call. You have the pit exit going out so you can get a bit wider just in the entry. You have to be uh, very brave. These two corners, turn two and three, very blind. And now he's going into the S's. So you have a right hander, left hander, and then another right before you have to go straight and, and break uh, very hard. To make the left corner there, you can take the extra curb, but it it unsettles the car. And then uh, we have two rides here. This is turn six, turn seven. Now he's going into a very slow corner. Hard to get a good exit because you honestly off every single time unless you get it right, uh, which I rarely do. Then he's going past turn eight. This is turn nine. Not really corners. This is a bit like turn two at Red Bull Ring, I would say. Only a corner if you are going into or, or racing on motorcycles. Uh, now he's going into the chicane, which uh, oddly enough, it's called Turn 10, but not only is it called Turn 10, it's Turn 10A and Turn 10B. So uh, A being the left and B being the right. And we have Turn 11, um, which is when he passes the bridge. And then uh, Turn 12, the final corner before he 
completed the lap and is still P2. He did improve as well. He's on a personal best there. It was lovely to actually see the text at times. That's not what I wanted at all. Uh, that's the yeah, one. Well, you say that you've never raced yet. Um, it's, it's a very popular uh, special event, Petit Le Mans, uh, taking place uh, one week before the actual Petit Le Mans. Which I, uh, which I really love, but I sadly have never had a, a good result in any of the, the races I've done there. Not in the official races, at least. Uh, or special events, sorry, at iRacing. This is, of course, it says, of course, as Pins go James Bond faster in uh, Sector 1. You see Sector oh, 2 just get a lot of understeer into that corner because it's slightly off camp, I believe. And, uh, this is turn 8 that he's just gone through, so you can see it's not really a corner. Uh, downhill here. So he's got actually gone uh, 4 tenths slow in 62, so it doesn't look like he's gonna improve. Uh, not much time to be found with Jacquin if you're as fast as Jensen Bentz. This oh, is about 2 tenths. So uh, under 2 minutes left now of the qualifying session, so someone's really gotta stretch their legs if they want to challenge Jensen Bentz. And I think the only one to do that right now is Hutchinson with the Fan and Heubel beating a second behind Pence's fastest lap. Uh, unless Phoenix can do anything about it, he's shown some great pace uh, throughout the Bahrain and, and Kialami race as well. Um, that is a fast turn one, Matt. That is an insanely fast turn one. It is. I'm, I'm not sure if it's flat in these cars. I don't know if you've uh, spoken to any of the drivers about that. I, ha I haven't been able to speak to anyone sadly before this oh. one that was uh, that looks well it's all oh, i don't think it's gonna be flat obviously lap one but that, that is a i wouldn't even say that's a passing place is it really because that is no real breaking at all that's just oh, i think you need uh, a very good exit out of the chicane uh, if you want to have any kind of chance to pass into turn one uh, it's very uh, very fast in gt3 cars uh, so so in something like these cars i don't think you'll be able to. It looks like it's almost flat, doesn't it? A lot. It's a very fast track. It flows well. It looks like it's a very good flowing track. I'd love to. It's, uh, uh, that, that's what I really like about this track. It's a uh, very good flow uh, up until turn 7 where, where you really need to get it right. But if you get that right, it, it, it just... It makes for such a good lap, uh, feeling wise and also timing wise, of course. Christian has just uh, qualifying third. is now over. Christian's just popped into third there at the last bit. Yeah, that, that's uh, crucial for the championship, isn't it? Hutchinson. A little bit quicker. Improving quite a lot. But uh, it's not fast enough. Jansen's not going any quicker. Like, uh, where's Fenton Hovel on track? He's not finished his lap. Le just yet. See, I hope he's still on the out on levers. Someone goes into the the pit wall, center pit wall. Uh, Fennel Hoy will uh, complete his qualifying now. So I'd say that's uh, P10. Yeah, P10. Uh, done now. I don't think Fredline can do anything. I don't even know if he's on the lap. Nope, that is not so. Yeah. That's qualifying for us. Would you take us through it, Wes? So, Jansen starting on pole, followed by Hutchinson in P2, Tristan Conning in third, Sebastian in fourth, Baron in P5, Stefan in sixth, Phoenix, uh, Felix or whatever, is uh, P7, drove very well last time out in Bahrain. Uh, Durek is P8, Hugo P9, Kevin P10, Warren P11. Uh, Chimbu, I wouldn't know how to start with that one. P12, Alexis P13, Leon P14, Zuma is uh, P15, I believe that is not wrong, Mark P16, Alex P17, Paul Cook P18, uh, Grizz P20 behind me, 
But I don't exist, so it's actually 19 cars. Are now grids. Lovely that it's all further. Look at that, they go around the last corner. How much there, how many cars there are. <laughs> it's going to be an interesting start for the guys in the back. Yeah, that's... And certainly, I think uh, <clears throat> the way that this is usually done is uh, is that whenever IMSA races here, they have a rolling start, so track isn't really made for standing starts as we have here at RSR. And uh, when does the lights go on? Let's see. Should be coming out in any moment now. Who's that in the pits? Oh, me. She in the pits. You won't be taking part, sadly. Sure, would have gone pull. We go. Six red lights. And they're off. Let's see, that's uh, Hutchinson. Uh, lovely start. Pitt's getting a bit of a better start, so uh, he's going to be leaning out turn one. No, that's Hutchinson on the inside, so he's now up into uh, P1. With Pitt uh, following. Let's see uh, what's happening. Down here, taking a look, that's McLaren passing Van den Heuvel uh, early on. Uh, and, and lovely move here, uh, as was that McLaren and Phoenix? And uh, Van den Heuvel falling even further down the grid. So uh, the car's spreading out here, just after the start. No one really making move into turn 7. That is possible though, I, I believe, but uh, no one quite close enough. And it's going to be... Uh, Battle for the slipstream down this uh, back straight here. That's going to end up in a chicane, so great upper or taking opportunity that the drivers are going to have if they make up any ground, as it looks like uh, if McLaren is going to do. Oh, that's Phoenix, uh, and he's he is fighting with McLaren. Got a bit confused with the positions there, but the uh, battle is not over. Although Phoenix is still leading. Asterix. It was off just after the chicane. Uh, Spellman, depending from Kevin Stam, is he going to be able to make it around the outside? It is possible, but he thinks better of it. And uh, who's that off? That's Elwood. Oh, I think he just got caught up by uh, Kevin Stam. Going to the outside, that's unfortunate. But uh, no damage done. Oh, and that's... Uh, is that Kevin Stam? I believe. No, that's Golich. Showing why, uh, why you really need to be careful when you... You go over that exit curb, says someone else there. I believe that's Alexis proving uh, that point as well. Sachinson now is being re overtaken by Jensen Bins. They're going into Chicane. Do they have a slight contact there? It doesn't look like it. Jensen Bins uh, goes wide across the uh, Chicane. A bit of a slideshow, and that allows Hutchinson to get past. Who are following here? That's, not, that's surely not Hutchinson. That Cosmo no, yeah, fighting with That's Cosmo. I don't know why he's saying that. Is. Yeah, it's Cosmo. Yeah. <laughs> There's so much going on. Even the timing screen can't keep up. It's brilliant. The timing screen's working lovely. It's it's, it's been action already. It's three minutes. We're not even three minutes in. There's cars spinning, moves to the lead. There's action everywhere. It just goes a bit Ooh. deep. Yeah, Kevin's now passed into too eighth. tied into that corner. There's so much going on, it's brilliant. The battle for the lead continues. Uh, I guess it will happen again with the slipstream. Who's in third then? You've got Coningston in third, Phoenix, Sebastian and McLaren. Will the battle for the lead continue? A lot of great battles that we've seen in, in such a short period. Yeah, a lot going on. Boomer's in P11 after slightly going wide. It's all calmed down, but no it hasn't because there is a battle for P13. Yeah, they're going to invite Hugo into that one, or uh, vice versa. It's actually Hugo and oh. I mean, two of drivers going uh, side by side with... Uh, uh, who is that? It's Elwood backing off uh, eventually. I thought there were going to be some contact where he would be uh, spun around, but it didn't look like it. He's now on the third from Cadillac. Ah, not quite close enough for a move on this occasion, but there's... Still very close, may be able to go for a pass on the back straight a bit later on in the lab as Elwood actually makes him say that Carraway Oh and makes him pass. Oh, I thought there was gonna be even more contact there. 
lovely racing we're having here. Just four minutes into this race. It's go, isn't it? As soon as they've gone, they've just everyone's just gone. Let's go, let's, let's go for it. Everyone's just sending it. Here we go again. Then for P3, I think this is to the outside. Doing exactly the same. Oh, no, they're not in the same color of car, actually. I thought they were. They're not. Felix not able to get him out this time. So fast lap now. Hutchinson, I've noticed they've been trading it. Branson, uh, ja Jansen and Hutchinson, the past couple, first couple laps, they've been trading fast lap. Yeah, but fast lap actually go to Tinubu. 104 is a Freeland six. That one followed by Cosmo. Or am I uh, mistaken? Is it just people because it's their own? Fastest time. Oh, it might be. It might be. Yeah, okay. Leon's got his. Just me not there uh, being used to that sort of course of them. But you're learning. Looks yeah, awesome. But though, Tristan Kooning uh, fighting with Phoenix, and uh, that's going to invite Sebastian into that battle eventually. See, he's uh, very close there. Um, not quite close enough to do anything now, but he's slowly getting, gaining time, especially if, he's, if Phoenix is going to make a move on Tristan Kooning. And so she came, he pulls out. Does he think better of it? He does back out and uh, goes for another move on the next, next level. It's like, I think that's the only real uh, passing opportunity there is in this track. Going into the chicane, unless, uh, yeah, unless you uh, you make a mistake in some of the other corners that is possible. What was that uh, tight right-hander after the first one? The double right-hander, is it turn seven? That looks like a possible one. Kevin's pitted, the pit window of course is turn, now uh, Turn six and seven. Yeah, double right-handers. Turn seven being, being very difficult as Jensen proved in qualifying. Yeah, you could launch up the inside there maybe. That's the only uh, other one I would think of. Like, he you now could do that, but I think it's a good run. He could try. It's a late one, but. It's a very late one. I think turn six is uh, too easy of a corner to take to uh, be able to get a good enough exit to make a move into turn seven unless you're really close. Yeah. Talking about really close. Phoenix on uh, Tristan Kerning pulls out to the outside. It is possible to go around the outside in this chicane. As he actually goes uh, ahead on the straight. That's uh, Kerning now in P4. Being hunted down by Sebastian Van den Heuvel. I know those two driver, uh, drivers, Van den Heuvel and uh, Kerning, have raced this track uh, a lot of times. So, on I racing though, not in uh, not in the Sito Corsa. So they're not uh, unfamiliar with this track, but of course, with this being a new car and completely different to GT3 and GT and whatever else that they've raced in this track. It's, uh, it's different in that regard. A mistake from Mark there. Had to back out the corner. After he just caught up to McLaren. Had to back it out. Uh, he's making some good gains. So the only driver to have pitted so far is Kevin. Obviously the pit window now open for the next 17 minutes. We do yeah, see them pit early, don't we, really? We see a lot of pit stops early. We do, yeah. Um, we've talked about the, the strategy there is to be played around with. With such a... Such a large pit window. Oh, uh, it's caught that I think there for Sebastian and Cording. They've sorted it out between themselves, I think. But that's cost them a lot of time to Phoenix, which has pitted. Oh, and he's pitting now. I think uh, he got tired of battling with Tristan Cording. Or at least didn't want to help him with the slip team that he was giving him. So, yeah, it's now uh, Van den Heuvel on. Uh, to uh, Koenig's rear tires. And Vincent's there as gets well. Gets invited to this one. Oh, yeah, that's wide! Ah, oh, oh. oh, that's very wide. Luckily, he doesn't uh, doesn't get the car turned over there. Uh, as we've seen some of the other drivers do, it's very difficult to corner to get right if you want to take that fast. And who's that off onto the grass? Not any of the I leaders. So, think it was top Paul, five it? stays intact. Yeah. yeah, could have been Paul Cook. Yeah. No, it's... Go as. I must say, thank you, Alexis, because I absolutely love this timing screen. Like I, I love it. Yeah, the best part about it is that uh, it actually works. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 fantastic. <laughs> Gives you a great view of what's going on on track. Would be nice if you could get uh, interval instead of gap to leader. 
but oh, uh, I can. You can't get everything, can you? Oh, I can get that. If I'm not wrong. Oh. So we can get everything. I think it. Uh, we're having it right now. Uh, off relative auto gaps interval. I got there. We go. Oh, we could get. Uh, I saw that we could get um, pit stops as well. So later on, if we're not the uh, yeah, if we're not sure. Uh, bring that up. You guys pitted as well. Come out. Hutchinson's oh. in. That's early. Wouldn't you say? Uh, say Twenty so. minutes left of the race, so one of the the earliest stoppers that we've had. Uh, Paul Cook, three pit stops. Yeah, three pit stops. I was uh, wondering that too. <laughs> what has he done? Yeah, p three pit stops on his P P18. I wonder if that's uh, to do with some crashing and getting some damage. Maybe uh, is that? Perhaps. I think Leon has spun or been spun in the chicane. Maybe as he now heads to the pit lane. That's watching the rock. We have a uh, Tinubu fan in the chat. I see a. Uh, I'd just like to apologize for uh, mispronouncing that word every single time that I say yeah. it. Yeah, I've noticed his name is Vincent, so I've gone with Vincent very quickly. He goes nah. a little wise. Yeah. <laughs> we'll stick I, to Vincent from now as on. As soon now. as I realized that was his first name, I was like, that's it. That's what we're going with, because I will just ruin We'll the take it. <laughs> uh, talking about Vincent, is he eight seconds behind Sebastian? He is. That must mean there was what? a mistake, because he was yeah, definitely a lot closer. He was... He had great pace early on. I suppose uh, Koenig and Fanon Hovel set personal best times. Almost identical. Not much uh, much difference between those two. Oh, <laughs> and Hovel taking a lot of crib there. Yeah, that's more than he probably wanted to. Uh, this car is not going to like that. And he, he's ideally going to want to stay in the slipstream of Tristan Koenig and save some of the push to passes that he has the car i believe they're limited to 15 pushes throughout an entire race of course allowed to choose whenever and wherever they want to use those 15 uh, 15 deploys but then um, would make most sense to use it on this straight yeah very long straight i think that flashing light Ending means up. he is all oh, up oh, just gone off hutchinson there we go knew he was gonna make a move to the outside done to move very uh, not as dramatical as we may would have liked and not a lot of drivers going for for a dive <laughs> into and so she came but i think it's for the better just getting those clean moves done look at that pack here of about three cars here yeah uh, and who's uh who's Phoenix. the one behind sebastian McLaren. it's not vincent is it no, it's, it's mclaren so he's trying to unlap himself actually Lexus is fitted. P14 battling with uh, P2. And so, uh, Sebastian gonna be able to take any advantage of that fight that they are having. Doesn't seem like he is, so. Lovely battle between those two drivers, of course, not being net P2. As uh, Tristan tries to make a move on McLaren. And this is uh, Felix. Is it Phoenix I think, now? I think it's Phoenix, McLaren. That's, oh, and that's contact oh. between the two. Um, uh, not, uh, not enough for any of them to crash, but there's still contact between uh, two drivers spelling P13. Uh, the laps, now, uh, it's uh, a case of uh, time, isn't it? This one, it's 30, 30 minutes long, so how many laps as they can get within 30 minutes? It is, it is time-based rather than lap-based, but you can of course get an, give an estimated guess of how long it's going to take. Alex and... Uh, Zuma is now pitted from P8 and P9. Well, they're now P7. Falling down, they were P7 before. Yeah. And Sebastian has been passed. And Sebastian has spun. And he's still going. He's spun. He's now down to P5. Vincent's passed him. Oh. Yeah, okay. I thought, he, I thought we were just watching him on the straight. So I'm uh, getting a bit confused. Sorry about that one.
Yeah, but what do you uh, what do you think of the track was? Uh, you've it's watched a very about fast flowing of, uh... track, I'd say it's uh, it's brilliant. Uh, we've got four. We've got P10, P11, P12, and P13 here, and there's a move. Doom has just come out of the pits, and he's just been passed by three guards. Who has to take a of action to not run into the back of uh, Phoenix as he then gets so taken by both McLaren and Bornin. <laughs> I think we're gonna have a three-way battle for P. What's that gonna be? It's, it's gonna be P11. P11. Yeah, and have we got? Are we gonna have a three ride? McLaren's uh, gone for it. It's only a two ride, but McLaren oh, super move by by McLaren. Going from P14 to P12 after the chicane. As uh, you see Borden going into the pits there, but this battle is Noah. So the Cosmo Sebastian wanted to get that pits. P11 back. Oh, he's fine! Okay, you know, oh, great save by great. Uh, Cosmo. As Sebastian comes out of the pits and round he goes! Oh, that's very lucky yes. for uh, Sebastian that he he gets to make that move there. Yeah, that's a very cheap move. That just comes out of the pits and straight away gets to go past Kazuma. Really, as under as he's uh, going to be under threat from Cosmo, it's going to be crucial for him to get some nice slaps in and try oh. and catch up some of the time that he's lost to Tristan, who's actually in the need now. As uh, that's both Benz and Witchinson having pitted, so they should be very close to each other. They put, ah, it's only Vincent between them, so Hutchinson is actually in a provisional lead. Hutchinson's now in the provisional lead, Vincent... Or net, net lead, I should say. It's actually just in Koenig leading, but of course, having made his pit stop yet, we're going to see him pitting soon, aren't we? It's uh, within the, within the window, first yeah. five minutes and... Uh, and 25. Twenty, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Last yeah. five, so it's so four minutes left of the pit window. Of course, you have to do one mandatory stop. Um, because it is just a stop. You could take one lead and then on you go on your merry way. But the uh, mandatory stop is time lost, and there's uh, some strategy to play be played around with. Uh, not much strategy in this race, I would say. We saw a lot at Bahrain earlier last uh, round didn't we yeah we saw a lot there i'd say we got stefan versus direct p12 now yeah there was a lot i think there was a lot of more strategy going on there oh big sideways there with the traction control yeah and uh, we talked to uh, both sebastian and tristan about that um uh, strategy wise and, and what they were thinking and and they both mentioned that that actually played a role in the outcome of the race of course, uh, Tristan winning with <laughs> uh, by two tenth uh, over Sebastian, um, uh, finishing P two and three. We, we yeah, because they uh, they came out the pit six seconds gap. Oh, yeah, they did. That. And Conning's in the pits. Tristan's in. Yeah, so gonna be very exciting to see where he ends up being. Uh, I've not really noticed how much traffic that he's had, but Sebastian seems to be clear of, of pretty much everything. Of course, I have to pass McLaren. Who has he pitted? I believe he has. McLaren. Uh, hmm. Double check. So Vincent it's hasn't. Coming, everybody uh... but Vincent has pitted. Okay, so Vincent, our uh, provisional P2 driver, has pitted so what you're seeing on the timetable right now is almost the same as what we will be seeing yeah, so it's only vincent the pit. Uh, oh, yeah in about two minutes time so uh, vincent should be coming in now if he he wants to uh, <laughs> make that mandatory pit stop this is jansen is, he, is it a move on vincent it is it does look like it is it is Good move that round the outside, and now Vincent will Doesn't pit. Move and yeah, and he, he pits us. Oh, he's actually hit the wall off. on the way in. That's a shame, uh, locking up and hitting the wall. It's a very tricky uh, pit lane entry. Um, bit of a, a small chicane, I would say, and, and going downhill, so very tricky get a... right if you haven't done any practice for it. As <laughs> we still have a three way battle here. Yeah, That's battle for P10. P10. Yeah. Mark, Hugo, Stefan. And just behind them is Doric as well. And just up the road 
It's Kazuma for P9, so not too far. No, that's still some uh, some nice close battling. Vincent's come out behind Kevin here. Kevin obviously was the first to pit, remember, as soon as the pit window opened, and he's actually jumped up to fourth here, so that's worked perfectly for Kevin. Yeah, but look a bit uh, further down, and where Sebastian is, P8. That's uh, not what he would have liked to see. Yeah, not at all. That's not worked well for him. He did spin, of course. lose a lot. Yeah, he, he did have the, the accident early on. That is too, but he was well, on the tail of Tristan. That could be a move here for Stefan. Trying to get that inside. Being covered off by Hugo to the outside. Not possible. Maybe to the inside here, like I said earlier. He's full back. He's put his nose there. Up the inside. Side by side. Still side by side. You gonna get a better run on the exit down the straight now. Slip through from Stefan. Middle of the road. Which way do you go? Left or right? Defend to the left. It's probably the best way to go. He's a little bit of a kink right here. And then straight down to the left. And he, oh, geez, that was a big pull out. He's gone to the right now. And he drive around the outside of him. He's now got the inside for the next corner. And that uh, is still not done. Slight contact as they come up the exit of the corner. But everyone's okay. Stefan has to stay behind Hugo for another lap. Defending into turn one. Can he go around he's the outside? He's got the outside yet again. And he makes it work now. So, so uh, what we were talking about earlier with places to overtake, I think we've <laughs> he's just proved where you can overtake. So, to so turn seven going on oh, to no. the back straight is a possibility. Vincent has spun. to Vincent. I think he's spun on his own like Sebastian oh, no. did. He's now behind Sebastian. Oh, he's out. Oh, he's got off again. I wonder if there's any damage. Oh, yeah. Nah, uh, probably just uh, oh, heated tires, I would guess. And now Jansen McLaren, or Jason, sorry, McLaren has now been passed by Sebastian as well. I'm not sure if there was a mistake by him as well. That's interesting. Yeah. Sebastian now from going P8, now P6 and within a lap, so good lap for him. We're just talking about Cosmo, that bell that he had <laughs> with uh, Spilson. Amazing driving from. Uh... From Cosmo or taking it to turn seven, not making the move down there. They went out side by side, of course. As seeing that he had the inside line, he would have a much slower exit. Of course, as uh, Gerlich is going to be looking for a move perhaps into turn seven or just after the the back straight, he is close enough. Got a lot of lot of substream out of the final corner. Jansen, there's now Jansen, we are following out of the. The final corner is going to have a move on Sebastian Fe uh, Sebastian. About to say Fettel, that's a note Sebastian Fettel. Friend and Oval. Always a compliment, that one. Uh, <laughs> almost identical to cars as well. Purple and red. Almost. Uh, almost. Go back to the battle for P10. That's now Doric attacking Mark for P10. Not able to get it yet. There's battles everywhere. Everyone's so close to the circuit. Yeah, not only are they battling, it's it's very clean fights that we are we are seeing take place on track. Uh, unfortunately, compared to some oh, of the other. Oh, that's a spin. The Sebastian's off. That's a Stefan. Sorry, a spun. He's crashing to the wall there. Oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah. Looked like he just took a bit too much crash on uh, the entry into. To turn three, actually, spun in turn two uh, itself, but that, that, that's just the risk you take there. You go a bit too tight in uh, turn two, and you want to see a right into the wall. That's uh, very unfortunate for Gerlich. Now, P13, and uh, are we having any close battles? McLaren is having a one second gap to Sebastian, so. It's just a bit of a wiggle going out of the chicane. It's not going to help. Uh, we might have. It. We now have Alex and Leon behind Stefan. A little bit of a close one. 21 laps they've done, so they've done quite a decent amount of laps so far. Yeah, but taking a look a bit further up the field, it's Hutchinson leading by 10 seconds to pins. What a drive Hutchinson is having. Uh, just two hours ago, we would have thought that would be possible with the pace that pins us. Been showing all the all season, really. 
and of course with only four le races left I don't think Hutchinson is gonna be able to do anything about uh, Bince's championship lead but it's still nice to have some competition I do, I do agree track. with you actually yeah we would not have thought of this a couple of races ago we would not have thought that someone would be able to pull away from Jansen Let alone be 10 seconds up the road. That's off there for somebody in the background. I think it might be. I think it's uh, Alex. Leon. Uh, gone wide. See there. Yeah. Okay. Means Alex is passing for P14. Said about Alexis. P16. Where I've been, sir, I just think this is not his kind of track. I'm wrong. Here we see, uh, we just had a look at the uh, turn three, the kind of that uh, Polish driver. What, how do you pronounce that name? Watchin Watchinson. I don't know, he, he went over it, but um, you see how blind it is. Uh, if we, we manage to get a look on that one as well again. Look, very blind cars are very tri tricky as well to get right. You really have to be reactive rather than proactive into that corner. If you want to get a fast lap, and that's the ideal way to go around the circuit. If you want to win, that is. So we got P9. Tazumo is getting caught up by Mark, which is bringing... I'm not sure who with. I think it might be Hutchinson uh, with them. But yeah, it is. Hutchinson coming to lap them here. Battle for P9. Ah, there you go, he gets out of the way. Lovely by Mark to get... Oh, he's actually yeah. just completely had to skip across. Uh, he might actually get past here. Yeah, he's now got Durek on the back of him. So, by getting out of the way of the leader, he's put... He's gone from possibly getting P9 to can he keep P10? Got three and a bit minutes to go in this race. So, it's gone by, again, very quickly. Yeah, time flies when uh, you're having fun, doesn't it? Yeah, as Stefan has now repassed Hugo, so there might have been a mistake from Hugo. Ben's actually finding a lot of time. He's now yeah. two seconds uh, closer to Hutchinson than where he was just a few minutes ago. But uh, unless Hutchinson makes a huge mistake, I don't think he's going to be able to do anything about the lead that he's having right now. Uh, just including in P3, he is uh, very far behind Bintz, so I don't think that's going to be any changes to the top three uh not top four neither kevin stamp two seconds behind Koenig. then it's phoenix seven seconds behind sebastian being overtaken by mclaren there so i think that's uh, the highest battle that we we're gonna get uh, the battle for p6 as they come out onto the back straight now here we go Sebastian pulling out and he's gonna get the inside for turn nine that is, but it's still close. Still possible for McLaren to go and make a move as he pulls out. Ah, uh, goes the inside, so can't really decide where to go. Uh, tries to make some kind of move into the chicane, and it looks like he's made one out of the chicane. Not quite as... It is still Sebastian crossing the line in P6, but uh, turn one coming up next. It's gonna be close enough, it is not. Fortunately, but he's still very close, nothing uh, decided yet on this p6 battle especially completely eats that curve nice uh flurry sector we're having here jansen's just said make mistake here? no they're not jansen's just said uh, the fast lap of the race for one minute two dead on which is absolutely lovely <sighs> dead on dead on that's what you want but he is now six seconds behind a minute and a bit to go about realistically two laps to go i don't think he's gonna catch that gap no, oh, it's going to be very difficult. It's two minute, uh, one minute, two seconds dead on. That's a uh, qualifying pace right there. Here's the battle for P9. There's 10, there's 11, there's 12. Who went off there? I think it was Durek. It was. <laughs> it's still, still a battle going on for P9, uh, which has not ended yet. And it will only end at the checker flag. And this is definitely going to go down to the wires. I think they are passing P8. In, uh, going eight, going around the, around the outside into the chicane. Making a move done. Also, now it's a battle for P8. Really? What's happened there? 
Oh, they call up no, to Vincent. No, no. Where's, they? where's Vincent? Right there, right in front of them. Because we're trying to pass Vincent. So this is oh, now so a four way for P8. How have they yeah, done no, that? I think this is going to be a uh, second to last lap. So not a lot of time there for those four drivers to make any move. Perhaps Gerlich could be invited into that battle. Um, if he if he drives in front, are going to make any mistakes. So I actually wouldn't call it a five-way battle, but it's very close, isn't it? It's very close. There's a lot of numbers <laughs> on my screen, and I'm trying to work out exactly which car is which. That's wide. That's very wide for Mark. He was in ninth. He's now lost it. Zoom is back to ninth. The three wide ones on the grass. <laughs> yeah, and, uh, Vincent coming on top there. Still P8. Uh, but is anybody going to make a move? That is uh, Martin making a move oh, on Durek. And Tish Kane and Durek making a move on Cosmos. Oh, there's well. contact. Oh, they're three wide. Durek's got around the ball. What's uh, happening? Oh, was spun. No. They're still battling. Oh, oh Vincent! No, you're having, and it's actually the final lap. That was the last corner for them. It's gonna make say, two cars going side by side into the final corner. Who's that? Mark uh, Durek got it for P9. Mark P10. We've all of, we're watching P9, and Hutchinson took the Felix has spun. Felix has spun. If... Sebastian's P5. McLaren's P6. Now that's changed. What's going so, on? Uh, final lap. Is it? That's it. It's raising over Hudson where we were watching P9. Is only finished and P8 and down has finished as well. But what about P4, 5 and 6? Are they still going? They're on their last lap. They sure are then. Kevin Stan put a lead up over Sebastian. But what about P5? Is it going to be a battle for that? No, it doesn't. Sebastian's got it. Really look like it now. Sebastian crossing the line as well as McLaren. Then wow. it's only Phoenix left crossing there. So... Very dramatic wow. uh, way to finish the race for the P, the the five driver spelling for P8. Uh, three people going wide oh, into, into the chicane. Mad scenes. Congratulations to uh, Hutchinson. I, I, we were too busy watching P9 to see you win, but that was brilliant. Well done to him. Black is oh. saying that he's already seeing reports coming in. Uh, of course, there might have been some context here, but actually pretty clean racing today. Yeah, I think so. Been a lovely to witness and commentate. So yeah, Hudson took the win, Jansen took second, and Tristan Cumming takes B3. So well done to the top three. Kevin in fourth, fifth for Sebastian after Phoenix has spun on the last lap. Ja uh, Jason McLaren took P6, Phoenix P7, Vincent P8. Durek on the last lap took P9 over Mark, which was very close by a tenth of a second uh, as Zuma spun on the last chicane after they went three wide down the straight. Fantastic racing by them all. Um, Stefan takes P12. Hugo, which we're on board now, takes P13. Alex, P14. Leon, P15. Alexis, P16. Paul Cook, P17. 18th. Paul Blorin, three laps down. And Grutz in P19. That was absolutely fantastic. Yeah, amazing, amazing uh, battle all throughout the entire race. There was always something going on <laughs> for for the entire 30 minutes. We didn't have much time to talk about anything else than the race itself. Yes, yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Let's look at this. Free wide action of the line. It's going to be go. a photo finish. Who's going to get this? So, who's going to get this guy on the left? <laughs> no, it's close. But, uh, oh, doing some donuts as well, of course. Why not? Take it. But, uh, let's see if we can get anyone to join us for a post race interview. I'm not sure if Hutchinson is in the uh, voice chat. How do you spell Hutchinson? H-U-T. Uh, H-U-T. Okay, I butchered it when butchered I asked it. for him. Good enough though, isn't it? 
I think he uh, he knows that I'm looking for him. Uh, I see uh, Jensen Bint is in the chat, so we might be able to talk to him. Hutchinson isn't here. Let's see if we can get the Jensen to, to join us once again. Would you do some advertising for some of our other leagues then, while we wait for people to join? Oh, and I think we actually have the uh, have Jensen joining us. Let's see. More chances than it was last time, fortunately. Oh, at the uh, oh. As we are joined by Tristan Kroening now, while we wait for other people to join Good the evening. interview, it's our Swiss driver being being the fast one of follow them. Good evening, uh, Tristan. Hello. Would you, uh, would you mind taking us through your race? You call it, call it P3, didn't you? I did. Uh, I was pretty happy with that lap. Uh, it was like one of my best laps I've done in this series, I'd say. Then uh, start went pretty well, I got off well. Uh, it's actually pretty unexcite, uh, unexciting race, apart from uh, the short battle with uh, Regret, where uh, I'm not quite sure, you know probably more than me, because you could see the outside cameras. I don't know who was at fault, so I'm not going to say anything, but yeah, we had some contact, and then eventually Regret made a mistake, and from then on I was like, um, I was take, I was going a gear slower. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to comment too much on that neither, but just going to take us back to qualifying. Uh, just five minutes before qualifying ended, you were still in P4, I believe, behind... P5. P5 behind uh, Sebastian, so... Is he still alive? I'm not sure if we even know. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice uh, interviewing you, though. Oh, we saw. Okay. Okay, good. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay, 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 okay. We're going to continue it. Then uh, you were P5. You're still behind Sebastian, but um, but then Snatch P3. Well, if I'm um, right at the end and you saw you were in the, the race chat with him, how did he react to that one? Uh, He wasn't in there yet at that time. He joined like right before the race started. Oh, okay, okay. So uh, you didn't get to his reaction. I don't think it was yeah. a, it was one you wanted to hear neither. <laughs> I was but uh, yeah, but you took P three today. How does that feel? You're now P two in the championship. Pretty good, pretty satisfying to beat Regret, I'd say. But uh, I mean, you still got like what three or four races to go, so anything, anything can happen. happen. Yeah, exactly. And uh, like, what, how many points do I have now? Two, three points, maybe. If, uh, I, I haven't done the calculation in my head, but uh, it's it's not a lot. Yeah, you, so, finish P, I mean, you finish P3 and he finished P P5, five. I believe. So, and and you're two points behind going into this race. So, yeah, you can you can calculate that yourself. So, I mean, if, he, if he finishes okay. in front of me in the next race, then it's even again. So yeah, more or less anything can happen. But it's good to take, off, to take some points away. Of course, always nice. There's 
We are now joined by Jensen Vince. Welcome. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. You, uh, your name doesn't really, really fit your driving. Uh, of course, you finished P2 today, uh, having qualified on pole for the race. Uh, I was taken quite early on. What could, could you take us through the first couple of laps? Yeah, he got a better start because I think he used push to pass because his light was blinking, so it's not okay. Uh, setting behind him. Um, then, like two or three laps later, we had like uh, fight it a little bit harder um, on the straight. On the exit, I got a better exit. He uh, went a little bit wide. Uh, I tried to overtake him. I don't know if it was like decent, but it felt like he was slowing down. And then I hit him on the back, which was quite weird. But uh, my um, but then I still had a run and overtook him on the straight. He tried to uh, rear to take me with slipstream. Uh, I defended, but he dropped into my rear, rear-ended me. I went into the gravel, and yeah, he didn't let me. He didn't let me pass again. And yeah, it was a little bit sh uh, bad. But yeah, I tried to follow him again, close the gap a little bit. He pitted. And I stayed a little bit longer out, and I pitted for new tires to catch him with fresher tires. Unfortunately, traffic uh, really, really hurt me. I got pushed like twice out of track and lost so much time. And yeah, my aim was just to close the gap to five seconds, maybe with uh, help of the stewards. I think we can look maybe at the at the contact and see what was. The done wrong or, or, or whatnot okay so uh perhaps some internet difficulties making it uh, tough for you yeah we noticed you you were 10 seconds behind uh, i think it was about seven laps before the race ended but suddenly you <laughs> just uh, found the rocket button and uh, actually set the fastest lap as well in the final final uh, five minutes i believe um finishing five seconds or four and a half second behind hutchinson so uh, it's a great pace that you had at the end, but you said you you switched to tires. I don't think it's a strategy that a lot of drivers go for. Is it something you've uh, you've considered doing for a long time, or is it because you're suddenly having some actual competition and not just driving off into the distance? I've done it uh, like all the races so far. So okay, okay. We just not noticed it because you've been so fast. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, traffic. Okay, and I see we have Buzzin in the chat now. Is this Hutchinson? Yeah, it's me. Okay, so uh, so congratulations on the, the win today again. Um, just got uh, Bince's version of what happened at the beginning. I don't know if we should be talking about it again. Uh, maybe you could you could uh, give us a bit of an inside look into what you think happened. He said that you slowed down. I oh I think it was just internet because when I was when when you passed me down the straight you were kind of like rubber banding back and forth and I tried to pass you on the left and like just I was I don't know the internet was not good or something I didn't I didn't slow down or anything okay so uh, so just internet problems that's it's still unfortunate uh, for Jansen too uh, problems I would have loved to see you two battle it out on track. Um, Jensen just uh, mentioned that he was changing for tires. What, what's your uh, pit stop strategy when you do these races? Um, I just I just pit and take one liter. It's no tires, fuel. Yeah, so you just go for the uh, the quick pit stop. Yeah, quick pit stop. You saw uh, Jensen closing the gap from ten seconds to four and a half within the final. Seven minutes. Was you uh, were you worried at any point that he was gonna go for any kind of move on you later on? I mean, yeah, I was I was watching him because I know he's quick, so I had a feeling maybe he could catch me if I if I uh, don't drive fast enough. So I was just pushing the whole time, trying to keep the gap. Sounds uh, sounds good. But uh, congratulations on your your win today. Again, yeah, thanks. Yeah, I think uh, that's going to be it. We've had interviews with our first three finishers in uh, 
this race today, round seven, of course, of the RCS Supreme Formula Series at World Atlanta. So, um, yeah, I'm going to say thank you to everybody who's following on Twitch. Um, remember that we are racing at Okayama next Thursday, uh, of course, for round eight. That is uh, the first of our final four races of this championship. Uh, so stay tuned for that one if you are interested to see if if Hutchinson is gonna uh, be competing for a lead uh, again with with Jensen. Just to do a bit of an advertisement for some of our other leagues tomorrow, we have the Rookie Oval Series with the W12 Legacy at the Daytona Legacy. So free content, you're welcome to join if you have a an iRacing subscription. And on Sunday we have Radical races also rookie oval uh, rookie road sorry so free content there but uh, a road series instead of oval so uh, with that i'll just say uh, thank you again for tuning in and i'll see you next thursday